लेट अस नाउ डू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज अ ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन ऑन म्यूचुअल फंड्स जस्ट रीड थ्रू द क्वेश्चन नाउ मेसर्स कॉर्पस एएमसी ऑन वन फोर टू दे हैव टू स्कीम्स डिविडेंड प्लान बोनस प्लान The problem is down. They have given everything, but two question marks at the beginning itself. So basically, they will provide you with the answer. From the answer, you are supposed to go back and find out what. Find out the question. Down, they have given some more details. Just read through this and tell me from this details what can I find out. Investment is given, average profit is given. No, Preeti. From this, you cannot find out the face value. Life is five years. Investment is given, average profit is given. From this, can I find out my closing value of investment? Am I right? Yes, that's something what we can find out. So I'll write down. Working note number one. Closing value of investment. Particulars. We have dividend plan and we have bonus plan. Point number A. Opening investment. How much is the opening investment? Nine lakh twenty thousand. And the second one is ten lakhs. Okay. Now down. If you see, we'll take the total profit. For how many years? Five years. So that will be twenty-seven thousand seven forty-eight point six into five years. So you get as one lakh thirty-eight seven forty-three, and the other one would be six point four percent. You will get the number as three lakh twenty thousand. From this, can I find out the closing value of investments? Ten lakh fifty-eight seven forty-three. Am I right? All right. And here you get thirteen lakh twenty thousand. From this, can I go and find out my closing NAV? Sorry, closing NAV. Yes, <coughs> forty-nine forty-four. Forty-nine forty-four. From this, can we find out the closing number of units? Do I get the answer as twenty one thousand six zero seven units? And the second one, what is the answer you get over here? You get the answer as thirty thousand units. Am I right? <coughs> so step one, we got the closing number of units. Once I get this, I can analyze the dividend plan now. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll draw a table now. First column heading will be date. Opening units. Then from this opening units, you will have dividend percentage, dividend amount, unit invested based on the NAV, and we will have the closing number of units. Now tell me what is the first date over here? First April two thousand fifteen. On this date, what is the opening units? We don't know. We actually don't know anything about the first April. Next is coming on thirty first March two thousand seventeen. Then you have thirty one three two thousand eighteen. Twelve percent, ten percent. Thirty-one three two thousand nineteen. Fifteen percent. Last date is thirty-one three twenty twenty. Okay, I'll put a line like this. Friends, I hope you are all comfortable with the pace. 
I'm going a little fast because we need to cover a lot of questions today and I'll share these handwritten notes with you. All right. Okay. So now I'll put the NAV everywhere. I think the NAV will be 44 in the last one. 42, 39. <clears throat> then you have 42. And the opening NAV is how much that we don't know. All right. So this much of details are available and we got the number over here as 27, 21607. Am I right? Now, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to find out the opening units. So here there is no dividend amount. So my opening units will remain the same. How much will be my opening units? 21607. Now here I should have some opening plus dividend amount should give me the answer as how much? 21607. So for this, I'll put an equation. I'll take a fresh page. 31-3-2019. Opening X plus on this X, let us say the face value is 10 rupee and the dividend rate is 15 percentage. Dividend amount divided by closing NAV. How much is the closing NAV now? 42. This should be equal to 21,607. So when I do like this, I will get the number as x plus 1.50x divided by 42 is equal to 21607. Or in other words, 42x plus 1.5, I am multiplying both the sides by 42. Whole divided by 42 will be equal to 21607. Therefore, 21607 into 42 is equal to 43.50x. Have I taken a mistake? Have I taken a wrong NAV? Oh, thank you for correcting me friends. Everything would have gone topsy-turvy. <coughs> so what is the NAV for dividend plan? Wait. 49, 45, 45, after that, you have 50 and 48. Thank you for correcting me, friends. So here it will be divided by 49. Divided by 49. 49x divided by 49. So this into 49 will be equal to 50.50x. Sorry, sorry, not 49. Not 49. 49 is the last day's NAV. I'll correct it. Please give me a moment. How much is the NAV 45 is it? Yes, it will be 45. 45, here also 45, 45. So this into 45 will be equal to 46.50x. Do I get the answer as 20,910? Amazing. Yes. So here I'll get the number as 20,910. That into 10 rupee into 15 percentage is 31,365 divided by 45 will be 697. So now it will come over here as 20,910. Now same way I'm supposed to do it here again. <clears throat> Some dividend rate is how much given over here now? 10 percentage. 31, 3, 2018. So that would be X plus X into 10 rupees into 10 percentage whole divided by what is the next NAV? 50 rupees. That should be equal to 20,910. Again, X plus X divided by 50 is equal to 29,010. 50x plus x whole divided by 50 is equal to this. 51x is equal to 10,45,500. Am I doing it correctly? Do you get the answer as 20,500 friends? Wonderful. How are you getting it so fast? It's taking so much time for me to get it.
410. So now friends, last area, one more time, we have to do the same thing. Any idea what is the answer for this one? Or should I do it? Thirty one three two thousand seventeen. Now the formula would be x plus twelve percent. Divided by forty eight is equal to twenty thousand five hundred. Correct. <coughs> Okay, so do you get the answer as twenty thousand over there, friends? So I'll come back over here and write down twenty thousand <coughs> now, friends. I don't know the NAV, but I know one thing. The units are going to be the same thing. No dividend coming over here, okay? And they are asking you for the NAV amount. Friends, what we'll do is we got the investment amount as how much? Is it nine lakh twenty thousand? So here the formula would be nine lakh twenty thousand divided by twenty thousand units. Am I right? Do I get the NAV over here as forty six? I'll give you one minute. Just absorb this opening investment by opening units. Exactly. Are you all clear with the dividend plan, friends? Whew. Okay. Now, in the same way, we are going to do the next plan. What is the next plan? Bonus plan. Date. Bonus ratio. Opening units. Then you have bonus units, and from this you can find out the closing units. What is the first date that you have? First April two thousand fifteen. Correct. Then you have thirty one, twelve, two thousand sixteen. On this day the ratio is one is two, four. Then you have thirty one, twelve, two thousand eighteen. Now you have one is two, five. And last date is what thirty one, three, twenty twenty. All right. Opening units I don't know, but I think the closing units we know, right? How much is the closing units? Please tell me someone. Thirty thousand units, is it? So here it will be thirty thousand units. I'll put the NAV also over here. So what are the NAVs that we have? Forty four, forty three, forty four, forty three. Then you have forty, and the opening one is what I don't know. Correct? All right. So friends, now tell me how will I go about? Here there is no bonus that is given, so there is no tension for me. Opening will be the same thirty thousand. That will now become like thirty thousand here. Now they have given a one is to five bonus ratio. So some units plus that into one by five should be equal to thirty thousand. So I think we have learned some equation, right? One by five on the opening will be I think one by four on the closing. Am I right? Is this one by four or? Some other number, seven thousand five hundred. No, that's not correct. Can someone do a backward working and tell me? I think it's one by six. Five thousand. Correct. Correct. One by five on opening will be one by six on the closing. So do you get the number as twenty five thousand over here? So one by four will be one by five. Five thousand. So this will turn out to be twenty thousand. Correct. So here you will get twenty thousand again. No bonus. Opening units will be twenty thousand. So in other words, you will be having 
10 lakh is the investment, right? Divided by 20,000, that will be 50 rupees per unit. So friends, uh, once we are done with this, I believe we are done with this question also. Issue price of both the schemes. Yes, please go through it now, friends.